Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen. London Mainz and Money 2014, and it's going now to the end. It's the fourth day here, but I'm very happy that I have a very famous German chart analytics yeah, expert here with me, Florian Grummes. He is from uh, Midas. Touch or Midas Touch Consulting and uh, yeah, works also for Pro Aurum and does a, uh, I think, a weekly letter. Yes, oh, right? yes. Yeah. be weekly. And, and we would else. like to talk now about the technical aspects of gold and silver. Froya, yes. thanks for taking the time. Yeah, it was a bit shaky the last week, so maybe you can comment a little bit on that. Yes, uh, thank you for the invitation. Um, it's true, the last couple of weeks have been very volatile. We've seen huge upside and downside swings. I mm -hmm. think we had three short squeezes, actually. And finally, gold is still hanging around the 1200 level. Mm -hmm. So in my point, in my opinion, basically, uh, the 1180 zone is really, there is a hard fight for it at the moment. It's a dangerous zone. <laughs> dangerous <laughs> zone, but at least there's a big fight happening at the mm -hmm. moment between the bears and the bulls. Mm -hmm. And I think so far it's not a decision yet made. So um, we will have to see very closely what's happening the next couple of days. I am afraid that we are going to see a bull trap. So many people, I mean, I've spoken with many people here as well, and it seems that so many gold bucks are already coming out of their holes and telling now the final low is in and um, now we're going to 2000. And I would be a little bit skeptical at the moment. I'm mm -hmm. still believing that the chances that we still get a lower low are higher. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you think it can go shortly up before the bull trap maybe could kick in? I think um, I can see maybe an upside potential, maybe 1235 still. That could mm -hmm. be possible, even uh, best case, the 200 day moving average around 1275 mm -hmm. is also possible, but then it's already stretched. I think short term, some indicators are already overbought. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I think on the longer term charts, monthly and weekly chart, uh, the trend is still down, clearly defined, and um, I think the big money is right now moving the market around. But uh, I'm afraid the market is still gravitating towards the $1,000 in the next couple of months. I think it's a big psychological number. Yeah. And imagine if uh, gold is now moving to 1500, we still have this 1000 number in the room, I think. So and why do we have that in the room, the 1000? It's a big psychological number, mm -hmm. and you need to remember that uh, between 2008 and 2010, the market run, I think, three times against the 1000 level mm -hmm. until it finally broke through. Mm -hmm. So what it was once a big resistance, yeah. now, of course, is big support, but it needs to be tested. Mm -hmm. We had one short test, I think, in 2011, when the market dropped until uh, 1040. And since then it moved up until 1900. Maybe that was the test. Maybe that was the test, but I believe on a longer time frame we still need another test. Uh -huh. And um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see gold uh, in the first, uh, latest second quarter 2015 going to 1000. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe 980, maybe 1040. Mm -hmm. And it probably will be there only for a couple of days or even just an intraday mm -hmm. dip. Mm -hmm. And I think after that the market will finally be really free mm -hmm and healthy again and yeah. a new bull market actually can start. Mm -hmm. So Fantastic. on the long term I'm very bullish on gold. That's without what I wanted to hear. Yes. That's not only the negative things. No, I mean <laughs> we have to be honest, you know, yeah, it's like you, we, we cannot lie yeah, to ourselves. Technical analysis exactly. is very dry. Exactly, That's right. exactly. Yeah. And gold without a doubt is in a bear market since yeah. three years. A nasty bear market, it has lost nearly 40%. Mm -hmm. um, the, the miners in average are down 72%. Mm -hmm. um, so I think most of the correction is done. We are definitely in the last quarter. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is also a, a chance or probability that we've seen the low now in mm -hmm. November. Mm -hmm. But I don't really like the type of, cor uh, of, uh, of movement that we had in the last couple of weeks. It's too shaky. And um, let's see. I mean, I have these two scenarios. Either we have a bottom yeah. now already made, or we're going to see another lower low in the next couple of months and yeah. um, then a turnaround somewhere next year. Okay. Um, as I said, let's come a bit to the more positive things before we come to silver. Yes. Where can you imagine then when this, let's say, the lowest tested, hopefully not, but yes. okay, it could happen, accepted. But uh, what, where do you see then the, the, mar the market as a possible move? We have been at 1,920. Yes. Is there a chance to go up or higher I'm, from the technical uh, side? Yes, no, I'm very sure that we, we will go much higher. I think at least $5,000, maybe even $8,900 is possible, but not within a year or two. Um, I think Three. we, no, maybe five to eight years is more <laughs> realistic. But obviously when we are now finally making this bottom and it becomes more clear that 
the bottom is in and the, the trend has turned around, mm -hmm. uh, everything can happen very fast actually. Uh, so um, if we compare the, the bull market with the 70s, mm -hmm. so back then uh, gold went up from $25 or 20, $35 to roughly $195, also cor corrected like now. Uh, nearly 50% down to $100, and then it went up nearly ninefold to $890. And that was the last and final stage of this bull market. And if we get something similar today, maybe from $1,000, yeah, you, you're going to be at $8,900. So um, I think many people are aware of gold now, totally different to what happened 10 years ago when nobody was aware of gold. Now many people following it. Maybe they are not invested yet or buying it, but they are following it. They are aware what's going on on the gold market. They could so, step into the market and yes, new buyers. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Also, um, the, the ETFs can push, I mean, they had put a lot of selling pressure on the market down the last three years, yeah. without a doubt. They sold 880 tons in the last year, but on the way up, it will be vice versa happening yeah. the same. So they definitely will increase the investment demand again when the market has turned around yeah. and it's getting yeah. more obvious for the people. Yeah. That's for sure. Uh, short word on silver. Is it the same situation like with gold? Uh, I like silver much more at the moment than gold. I think, uh, first of all, uh, silver has topped nearly four months before gold mm -hmm. in uh, 2011, in May. And um, it's already sitting at a very strong support at $15. Uh, um, this is uh, the area where we've seen all these parabolic highs mm -hmm. in uh, 2006, 2007 mm -hmm. and 8. Mm -hmm. Now the market has been uh, correcting more than three and a half years. We had a huge upside day on Monday, I think 15% intraday up move. And I'm, I'm also, if you look at the gold-silver ratio, it has become very, very stretched and overheated, I think. We've seen, uh, seen it at nearly 80 on, on Monday and we had an intraday reversal mm -hmm. on the charts. So I'm very optimistic actually that silver probably has put in, in the bottom already. Um, we might see a higher low when gold really goes down to a thousand. I think silver will not go below 15 anymore. Okay, fantastic. Florian, thank you very much. We will check your prognosis and okay. your charts and uh, <laughs> hope that the 8,900 will kick in. Yeah, let's <laughs> talk in a couple of years then again. <laughs> I think we talk earlier. Yes, yes. <laughs> thank thank you. you very much. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Florian Grummesberg. You heard it, 8,900. That's a goal I would uh, sub yeah, sign immediately. <laughs> Mine is 8,600, so we are only $300 away from each other. And yeah, it looks like that we need another, maybe another test uh, for the bottom, but this would be the final test. And uh, then we should move upwards. So let's see what happens. 2015 is going to be interesting again. For Thanks sure. and bye-bye from London. Thank you.